Welcome to the section, High Performance Programming. This section takes a look at improving your code's performance using multi-threading and parallel programming. Let's start with the video, Creating and Aborting a Low-Priority Background Thread. The reason we want to take a look at a background thread specifically is because by default, all threads created by the main app thread or thread class constructor are foreground threads. So what exactly separates a foreground thread from a background thread? Well, background threads are identical to foreground threads, with the exception that if all foreground threads are terminated, the background threads are stopped too. This is useful if you have a process in your application that must not stop the application from terminating. In other words, while your application is running, the background threads must continue to run. We will create a simple application that defines the thread created as a background thread. It will then suspend, resume, and abort the thread. Create a new console application in Visual Studio. High performance. Then add a few namespaces, static system.console and system.threading. Next, add a class called demo to your console application. Inside the demo class, add a method called do background task with the public void modifiers and add this console output to it. In the void main method of your console application, create a new instance of your demo class and add it to a new thread called background thread. Define this newly created thread to be a background thread and then start it. Finally, set the thread to sleep for five seconds. We need to do this because we created a background thread that is set to sleep for three seconds. Run your console application by pressing F5. You will see that we have created a background thread with a normal priority. Now let's modify our thread and set its priority down to low. Add this line of code to your console application. Run your console application again. This time you will see that the thread priority has been set to the lowest priority. Next, go back to your do background task method and add thread.currentthread.abort right before thread.sleep3000 is called. This line will prematurely kill the background thread. When you run your console application, you will see that the thread is aborted before the thread.sleep method is called. Aborting a thread in this way, however, is generally not recommended. That's all about creating and aborting threads.